Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In recent tutorials, we looked at the basics of setting up a package and also some more advanced features, for example, like custom variables. In today's tutorial, we are looking at the packages category settings. So here, for example, we have the bundles category. Then if we click on the three dots, we have a few options. We can create a subcategory inside of the bundles category. We can completely clone the category with all the packages inside. We can edit the category or delete the category again with all the packages inside. Here we are on our homepage. We can see that bundles category on the left, and then we have our four packages. When we click on a package, we get more information like the package description. So this is what it looks like on the web store site. So let's edit this bundles category. We can either go to the triple dots and click on edit. We can also just click on the name or anywhere on the bar. And that will also open up our category. Here we have the category name, the description, depending on your template, this might or might not be visible. Also, depending on your template, a image for your category. We will mainly focus on these four options down here. Let's start with general. We can set a parent category for the category that we are editing. Clicking on the drop down, we get all our categories. For example, let's choose the ranks category and let's click on update. You can see in the back end, the bundles is now a part of the ranks category. Going to our web store, we can now see a drop down under ranks and our bundles category is gone. Clicking on the drop down, we now have two options the actual ranks category and that bundles category. We also have package display formation. We have two options. We can either show the packages with no images or show them in a grid with their images. You might not have this option, but since I'm running a Minecraft store, I also have the option to add a graphical user interface item. I can click browse. Depending on the game type, I can choose a icon. This will then show with the category inside of the game when opening up the plugin graphical user interface. Continuing to visibility, by default, this category will always be shown to the customer. You can, however, make it so it only shows up when the customer owns a certain package. Clicking on the drop down again, we can choose from any of our categories and then select a package that the customer needs to own before this package shows up. Of course, the customer needs to log into the web store for this to work properly. Just as a reminder, there are also visibility options for the package itself. Here you could hide the package for anybody that is not logged into your web store. Using these visibility settings, you can really dictate who can see what. For example, people who are not logged in cannot see a lot. People who log in can see more. And people with certain packages unlock even more categories. This, of course, completely depends on what kind of packages you're offering. Let's go back to the category settings. These next three should be pretty self-explanatory. Do not display this category in the subcategory drop-down menu. If this category is part of a subcategory drop-down menu, it will not show up. We can also completely disable the category and just remove it from the web store. For example, if you're setting something up or you want to temporarily disable something, let's say you made a Christmas sale category, you might want to disable it and then enable it next year again around Christmas. We can also order the packages in this category by price. Depending on how you have your packages set up, prices might fluctuate between customers. This way, it doesn't really matter what kind of package settings you have set up, it will always order the packages by price. This is a nice bridge into the next category because something that will affect the prices is, for example, cumulative packages. The first option, accumulate the purchase inside of this category so customers only pay the difference when purchasing a higher priced package. Let's say I have a category with two packages, one for $5 and one for $10. When first looking at it, it will just say $5 and $10. If I already own the $5 package, I only have to pay the difference, aka $5, to be able to get the more expensive package as an upgrade. I don't have to pay another $10. If it makes sense, you might just want to completely disable the cumulative packages that have a lower price than the current purchased package. This way, when enabling it, customers can only look at upgrades, this also prevents confusion of people buying packages with things that they already purchased before. Lastly, we go to advanced. You can use a slug, aka if you want to send people directly to this category, you can put a word here or the name of your category. And when people go to this link, they will automatically be sent directly to this category. For you, this will either not be set up or probably has a lot of numbers. If you want to have a nice clean link, you can set it up right here. We also have the option to only allow the customer to purchase one package from this category. Next one, we have the option to delete pending expiry commands of other packages in this category upon new purchase. Let's say we have two packages, VIP and VIP Gold. VIP Gold being the higher package. Let's say I buy VIP for 30 days. 
of the normal VIP package. And after 25 days, I'm super happy. Instead of buying the same package, I now want to buy the VIP Gold. If you have it set up so both packages add you to the same group, this could lead to issues. After five days, our expiry command for our original package would still run and remove me from the group. When turning this on, it will remove any of the expiry commands from the old packages in the same category. This way, everything would work a lot better because I'm not getting kicked out of the group, but I do lose my five days of VIP, which is a little bit unfair. That's why we have the next option. We can add any remaining time of other purchase packages in this category onto new purchases. So if we also enable this, when I buy that VIP package, it will automatically make sure that I don't get kicked after the remaining days. So in our example, those five days, it will add those five days to my account. I know I sound like a broken record. Depending on how you set up your packages, this can be really, really helpful and powerful. Hopefully using these category settings, you can start offering some really advanced packages. Hopefully this was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tebex store. If you're not done watching yet, you can click here on the right for our latest release or on the left for something that we think suits you best. If you think I want even more, of course, feel free to subscribe.